Unraveling the Mystery, Devil's Own in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase in the English language, Devil's Own. This expression has a rich history and a vivid usage in English, and understanding it can really spice up your language skills. So, let's get started and explore what this intriguing phrase means. The phrase, devil's own, has historical roots. It's believed to originate from old superstitions and religious beliefs where the devil was a central figure representing evil or misfortune. Over time, the phrase evolved in English to describe something that is extremely difficult, troublesome, or unlucky, as if the devil himself had a hand in it. In modern English, devil's own is used in a more figurative sense. It often describes a situation that is exceptionally challenging or difficult. For example, if someone says, I had the devil's own time fixing that car, it means they found the task extremely challenging. This usage can add a dramatic flair to everyday language, emphasizing the difficulty of a task. To better understand how to use devil's own, let's look at some examples. 1. He had the devil's own luck in gambling, implying he was very unlucky. 2. She faced the devil's own task at work today, indicating an extremely difficult task. Remember, the context in which you use this phrase can change its tone from serious to humorous or sarcastic. There are variations of this phrase like, the devil's own time, or the devil's own job. However, be cautious when using this phrase, as it may not be appropriate in formal settings or with audiences sensitive to religious references. I hope this video helped demystify the phrase, devil's own, for you. It's a colorful expression that can add depth to your English, especially when talking about challenges or difficulties. Thank you for watching, and keep exploring the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms.